Hello from the Hanging with Herky World Headquarters out here in the shop at the World Headquarters. Could that be Studio C? It's, yeah, that'd be it. So, <laughs> hey, um, if you're new to our channel, if you've not seen us before, we're Ed and Nancy and this is Herky and we're with Hanging with Herky. And, and this is our, really our first... Our first product review. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, here. We have been really excited about doing this. I couldn't wait to do this. We have been looking at e-scooters and e-bikes for a long time. Long time. And we've had the opportunity to show you this e-scooter that I think is going to work really great in our tiny camper because we're all about tiny campers. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, Nancy and Herky are going to step aside and we're going to get started on this review. So one of the things I uh, look for right away is um, when somebody ships me something because I spent 40 years in the packaging business, I am very interested in the packaging. So it's important that you get something that's packaged correctly so that you know you don't order it and then get it to your house and have to return it and all that stuff like that. So uh, I can see that this has a, a, a box over the outside and then it has a retail pack on the inside. So that lets me know uh, I have uh, a lot of confidence that this is going to look pretty nice. So um, if you'll see here, let me just tear this down so I don't have to move it. So you can see it has a nice box on the inside. It's well protected. This is, uh, this is really nice packaging. I'm encouraged, even though I haven't seen the inside yet, I'm encouraged as to what it can be. So let's, uh, let's get this out of the way and uh, get in the box and take a look at it. All right, so you can see it comes in a really nice pack. Here's a picture of it. This is actually the first time I'll have seen it in person. I've seen the pictures online, but uh, I mean, right away, one of the things I noticed, it has disc brakes on it. That's something that's uh, important. Uh, a lot of these scooters and that have uh, friction brakes or rub brakes. This one has uh, the, the disc brakes on it, I think is, uh, makes it look uh, really cool. Let me turn around here. So what we're talking about here is the Porto Max electric scooter. You can see that it has uh, pneumatic tires, disc brakes, a basket on the back, and a nice seat. Um, has auto LED headlights, a utility rack, three riding modes, so it's got three different speeds on it. And um, the you can you can see over here it has uh, cruising control, shock absorber tires. So a lot of these have hard rubber tires, but as I was reading, this has pneumatic tires, so they're not hard rubber. So should make the ride a little smooth. And power brake system. So let's. Uh, Let's dig into this thing and see what we got. So as I look down inside here, I can see it's got really good blocking and everything is packed in here. Look, they have all the accessories and they got it marked really good accessories so you don't lose anything. And then they got blocking, foam blocking in there. I'm pretty happy about what I see so far, even here. So this would be the post for the seat. They've got that protected well so it doesn't come through. Uh, I... I think it's going to be pretty good. So as I look around here, they got everything with blocks and foam and everything. I think it's it's really really packaged good. Just no damage that I can see on on it. They've got everything where it could come through the box. They've got it protected. See like this here. So yeah, it uh, looks really good. And um, this thing is really lightweight. Um, I'll check the weight here in just a second and let you know, but uh, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Let's uh, let's keep digging. Okay, we're gonna open up this accessory kit here. Take a look on the inside of that and see what's there. Um, it's got some instructions here, but I'm a man. I never use the instructions, right? <laughs> we will save these, and if we have to refer to them, we'll get back to them. But. Uh, Looks like uh, they got everything you need here. They got a QR code in here that you can register your bike with. And 
have everything laid out. It's printed nice, so I really like that. It tells you how to register your warranty, and they have a user's manual uh, and telling you don't return it to the store. So hopefully we won't have to do any returning. So once again, we've got the Porto Max electric scooter, and here's the instructions on how to install it. Let's uh, get digging into that and see see how we do here. Just uh, flying by the seat of our pants here. So here's the charge kit. It comes with its own charger. Now this has the battery built inside of it. So it comes with its own charger. And what's really nice is they give you a tool kit. Uh, let's set this out here. They give you a tool kit here. So you've got a, a 13, a 15, and a 16 millimeter, and then the Allen wrenches that were needed to install this. So let's uh, let's see what let's see what it takes to get this installed. So I got the handlebars just sitting here. We've got to put the screws in. It's got a really nice buckle here that you just clip it over. And uh, we still have to install the basket yet. Look at these blocks off the wheels. It says, wait, check your tires. Please add air according to the PSI and so they've got a valve on here so you can put the right PSI in there we'll make sure we do that here in a minute but uh, they feel pretty good I, they don't feel flat so that's pretty cool um, so this basket goes on here like so but the allen wrench the allen screws are already there so let's grab our handy dandy tools and uh, unscrew those and get that all get that all set up okay I've got the all four screws out this basket goes on here like that and all I gotta do is put these back in so I think what I'm gonna do is get those all four of them started and then I'll tighten it down That's... once again they gave you the Allen wrench to do this with, so you shouldn't have to purchase any extra tools or anything like that to do this. Okay, you got that done. And they got this set up here with these handles so you can just put the seat in. I'm going to guess at the height adjustment for right now, I'm not quite sure. And uh, what you can do is tighten it up and just pull the lever over. There you go. So I'm going to tighten that one more time. They give you an Allen wrench here that fits in the back side of this. You need it. Maybe probably on the first time you got you might need it. But after that you probably don't. Alright, let me Okay. There it is. They gave me the tools. I I didn't use this wrench. These open end wrenches. I don't know. They they look like they fit the wheel hubs but uh, didn't really need it so as you can see here it's all set up let me clean up the mess here a little bit and I'll get right back with okay so I did have to <laughs> end up getting the instructions out uh, I hope I don't lose my man card over that um, there when you put the whole the screws there's two screws you put in here on the handlebars there's two sets of holes there's a small hole and a big one and uh, I didn't see the small one so I got that all handled now. Let's uh, put these, there's two screws right here that you have to get in. Let's get those in. 
and then we're getting close to being done here. All right, so I got the two screws in here that attach the top of the handlebars to the shaft here. Um, as you can see, you've got to get the handlebars and the tire lined up. So I, I like this little knuckle they got here that you can put things over this way. But um, I'm going to get my wrench in there and get that all tightened up. I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. Um, nothing's permanent, like right. If you if you need to go back and redo it, you can do it. All right, so I'm getting this locked down. Once again, I really like that little thing there. So there you go. Uh, I think once we set it down on the ground, we'll get it all lined up, but. All right, I'm just going to sit back and kind of observe here. Um, it's got the, you know, it's got the brakes like I mentioned before. It's got a nice little kickstand on it, nice soft seat. And the charge port is right here. So you can open this up and put your charger in there. I have no idea if it's got, got any charge on it or not, but uh, we're going to find out here in just a second. So. That's it. My first impressions are it's, uh, it looks nice and sturdy and my first impressions are good. Uh, I guess the total elapsed time here, if you were to just you know, start to finish, try to put it together, it's probably about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, I had a small amount of trouble getting the screws to line up here, but uh, on the basket but it's no big deal. I was able to get that done. So, all right, we're gonna take this down off the table and we're just gonna take it out in the driveway and see what happens, okay? Hold on. Okay, we had to make a change of plans here because the road in front of our house is so busy. So we came over to a parking lot to give it a shot here for the inaugural riding of the scooter. So a little windy, but um, let's give it a try here. I have it set right now on medium speed. And so, hey, let's see how it goes here. Brakes work really great. I got set on median. I'm going to go ahead and change this to high speed. I think I got to seven or eight miles an hour on that one. Let's go on high speed and see what it go does. Here we go. That's pretty good. I got it up to 15 miles an hour on the high speed, and uh, yeah, it went really good. So it's got uh, lights on it. It's got uh, the disc brakes. Works really good. Folds up nice. Miss Nancy's here, sitting in the back of the car. I don't know if I'll get her on it. Let me take it for one more spin here. Let's see. So there you go. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to take a second. Got my grandson here. I'm going to let him give it a shot and see how it goes. We'll put the kick put the kick stand down. Oops, there it is. We'll put the kick stand down and uh, we're going to play with it a minute. Don't hit my car. <laughs>
What do you think? Brakes. Okay, that was a real blast. So, you know, 15 minutes from unboxing to have just having a blast. We we really liked it. We had a great time. So, um, you know, I got we took it over there to the other place because it was just better riding it over there on the parking lot. And uh, my grandkids came over and we all had a turn on it. It was a lot of fun. So. Anyway, stay tuned because in the next video, next week, I'm going to show you the functionality. In other words, why we thought that this was going to be something we really wanted for our tiny camper. And um, we'll, we'll be at a park and we'll, we'll give it a test run. So. so I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this Hobsco Porto Max electric scooter. Uh, it's been a blast. Um, like I said, in the next video, we are going to take it to a campground and we're gonna put it through its paces and see how this would work for the tiny camper community. If you have a small camper and not a lot of space, how we can uh, put this in our camper, but stay tuned. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. But in the meantime, thanks for hanging with us and uh, taking a look at this Hobsco Portomax electric scooter. Thank you. We'll see you next time.